Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II bathtub build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the USS California BB-44. Uh, the USS California was the second of two Tennessee class battleships built for the United States Navy between her keel lane in October 1916 and her commissioning in August of 1921. The Tennessee class was part of the standard series of 12 battleships built in the 1910s and 1920s and were developments of the preceding New Mexico class. They were armed with a battery of 12 14-inch, 360mm guns and four 3-gun turrets. California served as the flagship of the battle fleet in the Pacific Ocean for duration of her peacetime career. She spent the 1920s and 1930s participating in routine fleet training exercises including the annual fleet problems and cruises around the Americas and further abroad, such as goodwill visits to Aust Australia and New Zealand in 1925. Uh, the USS California was present in the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941 and sustained uh, two torpedo hits and a bomb hit. The ship itself sank after a fire on board damaged the electrical system, therefore preventing the pumps from being put to work. Uh, the ship slowly sank over a course of three days and was resurfaced uh, later on in 1942. She was repaired and heavily modified and was returned to service in, in January of 1944. She participated in multiple different battles, uh, received damage from a collision with their sister ship, the Tennessee, and was also hit by a kamikaze in the invasion of Ligayan Gulf. Uh, later on, she was uh, basically put into uh, the fleet's inventory until 1959 at the end of the war, and later on she was sold and broken up for scrap. Anyways, uh, USS California, very, uh, you know, historic ship obviously with all the battleships that are present at Pearl Harbor and it has the iconic picture of Battleship Row and the California was uh, one of those ships present in there um, however it was kind of separate from the Battleship Row but you know still one of those iconic battleships that was there um, for that uh, for that battle and uh, really interesting ship and uh, obviously really cool we don't have many of uh, these kind of early battleships and stuff on the channel so fun to go back and revisit and do American one which we also do not have very many American battleships I think we just have the Iowa and that's it um, so fun stuff here and as you guys may also know if you follow my community tab I'm currently working on a Pearl Harbor map so uh, obviously I'm starting to create a lot of these American World War II BAFTA builds I definitely want to get some of them out to for you guys to have on your own worlds and be able to build and enjoy and all that stuff as well as seeing them in action um, in a nice kind of uh, scene with them in uh, Pearl Harbor. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the USS California, see exactly what we're going to be building, and obviously we'll move into the tutorial for it. So obviously this is the early version for it, um, or the, I guess you can say, um, Dawn of World War II version. Um, it was later modified in uh, 1944, and after it was raised over the course of 1942 for 1944, um, so it definitely was a little, was a different later on in the war, uh, but to the beginning of the war when it was attacked in Pearl Harbor, this is what the ship looked like. So obviously we had uh, the big 360 millimeter main guns. Uh, it had a lot of these kind of hull mounted guns, kind of traditional with like those early kind of um, I guess in between dreadnoughts and kind of like the modern battleships. They had these uh, guns kind of mounted into the hull, and it still had those, and it also had these kind of bigger like five inch guns, secondaries that were kind of in these open mounts up on top here. Um, so definitely has that kind of still that, you know, pre-war um, design to it and kind of like that early, you know, battleship type uh, kind of design to it. Uh, up on top here, life rafts, a bunch of a bunch of cranes here. We got the mast and the conning tower up in the front. Obviously the forward conning tower here, um, being where the bridge is, all that, fun, all that fun stuff. And we also got the mast here that goes up. Uh, on the back here we have, again, a, another kind of mast that goes up like so and uh, has uh, two cranes here on both sides. Uh, what's interesting about the Tennessee class is it has basically three seaplanes that can be transported on it. So we have a total of three seaplanes. We have two right here on this kind of like, I guess, I wouldn't really call it a catapult, but more of just kind of a holder. And uh, then we have uh, the seaplane right here on the catapult that can be launched out to the side. So. Uh, pretty cool stuff, really awesome ship. Uh, hopefully you guys can all enjoy this build. It's been a while since we've done an American Battleship, so hopefully um, you guys can all use this and have fun with it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer one. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, we wanna make sure that we start our layer correct. As for most of you guys that will probably be building this, you're probably gonna wanna put this thing in the water. So to make sure that you put this layer down correctly, we're gonna wanna make sure that this is one block underwater. 
As you can see here, this row of uh, light blue uh, wool going across here represents the water level and at what layer the blocks will be going across. This uh, right here kind of shows that this is one block under the water space and our next layer, layer two, will be at the water level as you can see right there. Um, so very important to make sure that that's correct if you're positioning in the water because you obviously do not want the ship sitting too high in the water or too low um, and you want to make sure everything's correct. So this is how you guys want it and um, you know we have half of it built. We're going to build the air side on uh, camera and obviously uh, you guys can copy over what we do over here on the right side over to the left side and we'll kind of talk about that in a second here. Anyways, to go ahead and get started, we're going to do the center line of this ship. Now, the center line here is going to be a long row of red uh, terracotta. So, it's going to be a long row here of uh, red terracotta all the way to the back here. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by leaving a space of one, followed by three more uh, red uh, terracotta back. And again, uh, to make sure that your count is correct and make sure that this row is 34 uh, in total back, upside down brick stair, space of one, three red terracotta blocks once that's done we're going to go back up to the front here we're going to go ahead and go and count back one two three four and back to our fifth red terracotta block right here we're going to place down a brick upside down stair next to it count off this brick upside down stair we're going to place down another upside down stair so this turns into a corner stair we have a regular upside down stair and then we're going to take our terracotta and go back so from this brick stair we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 red terracotta blocks back. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair like this, followed by another upside down stair right after it, like so. So you have two upside down brick stairs like this toward the back. We then want to place down an end rod, come off this uh, brick stair, followed by a sandstone slab like so. Now, if you guys are on uh, later or sorry earlier versions of Minecraft, I think on the current versions or the newest versions, you can actually have end rods underwater. But on the newer versions or sorry the older versions, you can't. So uh, for this, you can just place down a dark oak wood fence gate or spruce wood fence gate, something like that, in here to for the kind of power shaft. However, um, I've also used this design in the water without the end rods, and it doesn't look too bad either. So you can just go without the end rods. Um, but uh, either way, um, you know, it looks good definitely with the end rods, but if you can't put those on, then obviously don't worry about that too much. Um, so for this row right here, we're going to go ahead and take this row we just did and flip it over to the air side. So we're going to basically copy it over so that both sides are going to end up being symmetrical to each other. As you can see, we already had the left side built, so we're going to go ahead and kind of skip ahead here and go to our next row out to the side. But just a kind of little reminder there for you guys that are new to building half on, half off. Uh, to go ahead and begin with our next row out to the side, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the brick stairs here. We're going to go to the third red stink or red terracotta block back from this stair right here. We're going to place down eight brick upside down stair, followed by a second stair after it. We're going to take our red terracotta, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen red terracotta blocks back, followed by a brick upside down stair and brick corner stair upside down coming from up, up that brick stair right there. I'm going to go and double check my count here of red terracotta and confirm that it is a row of 19 red terracotta back. Once that's done on the rear here we're going to go and take end rods. We're going to place down one and two end rods come off this brick corner stair followed by a sandstone slab like that. And you have your propellers and propeller shafts once you have this copied over to the air side. With that all finished we're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and go out to our side again. We want to go and count back to our fourth red stain clay block, block back so one two three and our fourth terracotta block right here to place down the upside down brick stair like this come off this brick stair to place down another upside down uh, brick stair like that we're gonna take our red terracotta place down a row of one two three four five six seven and eight red terracotta blocks back where they're gonna place down a row of one and two brick ups down stairs and a brick ups and down corner stair like that come off that last stair once that's all done, you should get something that looks like this from up above here with the ship. Make sure you transfer what we do over here on the right side over to the left side, and you'll have a nice symmetrical, uh, basically, hull for the bottom of the ship here. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number one. With that, let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a row of one, two, and three red terracotta blocks on the front uh, three blocks right here. Once that's done, we're going to go out to the side like this, place down a red terracotta block, followed by one, two, three, and four more blocks back. So you have a nice row of five along the side here. Once that's done, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair right here next to this red terracotta block, 
Going back from the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four uh, red terracotta blocks back from that brick stair. Cut off the side of this red terracotta block out to the side, we're going to place down there brick up and down stair. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 red terracotta blocks back. Followed by a brick upside down stair. Come off this brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a brick corner stair upside down like that. Come off the side. Followed by a red terracotta block right here on the inside. Come off this red terracotta block, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, and 3 uh, blocks back. We're then going to place down a brick upside down stair like this. Go ahead and go over at an angle from this brick up down stair to place down a red terracotta block on top of that brick up down stair there, followed by one and two red terracotta blocks back, and we then want to place down a brick up down stair like that. Once that's done, in between the third red terracotta block here that's going to be on both sides, we're going to place down a red terracotta block that's going to go over that space right there in the middle. We're going to go and place down one and two more back, followed by a brick up down stair which should end on top of this red terracotta block right there. Obviously, you're going to take the same thing we do over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer uh, number uh, two. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. Layer three will be the last layer we do half on camera, half off, as once we get to this, we have a lot of little detailing and stuff like that we start to get into. So that's something we're going to start covering once we get into that. Uh, into the next layer, anyways. So to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go to uh, these uh, red stain or red terracotta blocks. We're going to place down a polished inside block on top of the one up here in the front, followed by one, two, and three blocks back. So you have a nice row of four here, then a cobblestone wall coming off the polished inside block toward the front there. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of the last two polished inside blocks. We're going to place down two cobblestone walls, and after those uh, cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four polished inside blocks back. Once that's done, we're going to go to the side of these two polished inside blocks, place down two cobblestone walls, and back from those cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished inside blocks back. We're then going to go ahead and take cobblestone walls, place down cobblestone walls on the three um, polished inside blocks to the side here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen polished inside blocks back. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four cobblestone walls back. Going to the inside here, come off the last two cobblestone walls, we're gonna place down two polished anzite blocks. After those two polished anzite blocks, we're gonna place down one and two more polished anzite blocks back, followed by one and two cobblestone walls back. We're gonna go ahead and go to the cobblestone wall here, place down a polished anzite block on the inside here, followed by one and two back. We then wanna place down a row of one and two of cobblestone walls back, a polished anzite block in the middle, in between these cobblestone walls, and then a stone brick stair on top of this brick stair on the back there. Once that's done, we're going to go up to our midsection of the ship here. Going ahead and starting from the back here, we're going to go ahead and count to our fifth from last polished andesite block on this very outer row of polished andesite. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of polished andesite that's going to go across the middle here and uh, basically create kind of a split in the whole ship. Once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood planks and we want to go ahead and fill in the whole back section here with spruce wood planks. Now this is just going to fill in here and create the uh, top deck of the bottom section of the ship since the or the back section since the back section is lower than the front section So we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in entirely on the back here Just like this going all the way back and fill it all in like that So you get something that looks like this from up above here and uh, to, Once that's all wrapped up and finished off there We can go ahead and do one of our final details for this layer and uh, this is going to be taking signs and starting off from this cobblestone wall up in the front here. So this is kind of our second row of two here. Uh, we're going to go and take signs and place it down along the sides here of these polished anzite blocks. And this is just to go ahead and kind of uh, create the kind of, uh, I guess, armor uh, panel on the side here. The um, torpedo, I guess, rack for uh, protection, I guess, extra armor. So we're just going to take signs, run it all the way along the side here. Um, it is a bit tedious to do, but it definitely looks good. Uh, in the end, so we're just going to go ahead and keep going all the way down here along all these polished anzite blocks. And we get to this section here, we're going to place down two signs on these two cobblestone walls. And with that all wrapped up there, we're going to go back to this polished anzite block, and there's a sign, there's a sign after it, there's a sign right there, and that will wrap that all up just like that. And uh, obviously, the same thing will be done over here on this side as well, and you have kind of like your uh, kind of uh, bulged out armor there. Per uh, torpedo protection and all that fun stuff 
Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer three. And the last layer we'll be doing uh, half on, half off. Let's go ahead and move into layer four, which we'll be building all uh, together um, in one go. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off by going to the bow of the ship. We're going to place a tiny polished anisite block on top of this cobblestone wall, followed by a stone brick up sound stair that comes off that polished anisite block toward the front. We then want to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this polished anisite block. After that's done there, we're going to go and take our polished anisite, place down an additional block back, followed by a spruce wood plank like this back. We're going to place down a stone brick ups and down stair on both sides of this spruce wood plank. After that spruce wood ups and down, or, or that spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a second spruce wood plank back, followed by again a stone brick ups and down stair on both sides. With that all done, we're going to place down again a spruce wood plank here in the middle, followed by a polished anisite block to both sides. We're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern a total of three more times. So one, two, and three more spruce wood planks back. One, two, and three polished anisite blocks on the side here. One, two, and three like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go to the last two polished anisite blocks. We're going to place down cobblestone walls to come off the sides of those blocks like that. With that finished off there, we're going to take our spruce wood planks, place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a cobblestone wall on both ends. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to place down a narrow row of three, spruce wood planks across the middle, polished anisite block on both sides, and we're going to repeat this pattern an additional three times. So we have one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. So in total, we have a total of five rows of three now of spruce wood planks. Along the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and three more polished anisite blocks. Along the sides, same thing over here as well. With uh, that done, we're going to switch to cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall like this on the side here, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten cobblestone walls back. We're going to go, ahead and go over here and do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in total, we have eleven cobblestone walls along the side here, just like that. And it should line up here with this row of polished anisite right here in this section. Once that's all finished there, we're going to take our spruce wood planks. And we're just going to go ahead and place down rows of five of spruce wood planks, filling in the inside here uh, for the deck of the ship. So we're just going to go ahead and fill this in like so. All the way down here like this. And just keep on going until we get to this back section here. And before we get to this last row right here, we're going to go ahead and switch over to polished anisite and place down a row of five of polished anisite across here. Um, so you get something that looks like this filled in for... Um, that right there so far for layer four when we get back to this section here we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair here come out the middle polished anisite block followed by a stone brick upside down corner stair on both ends we then want to place down a skeleton skull on top of this spruce wood plank again skeleton skull on both ends when that's all finished there we're going to take iron bars we're going to place down a row of one two and three iron bars across like this we then want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on both ends and then after that to the sides, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater and place down a redstone repeater <clears throat> on top of that polished anisite block like so. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz slabs. We're going to take quartz slabs and place two quartz slabs come off these last two cobblestone walls on both ends here for a little lifeboat on or lifeboats on the side of the ship. Uh, also, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some brown carpet and place down a brown carpet on top of this polished anisite block right here on both ends just to kind of keep a consistent brown color for the deck. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to go and take our iron bars, place down a narrow row of three of iron bars across. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a quartz slab. We're going to place down a quartz slab on both sides, come off those cobblestone walls, followed by again a brown carpet out to the sides. We're going to go again in the middle here, place down a row of three of iron bars across like this. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick stair here, or sorry, but there's actually going to be a stone brick stair like this in the middle in between these two iron bars. So an iron bar on both sides of the stone brick stair. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz slab, come off those slabs on both sides here, followed by a redstone repeater on top of that polished anisite block on both ends like that. When that's all done there, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, come off this one right here, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides of that stone brick stair, followed by a redstone repeater out to the side like this, and also a brown carpet on top of this cobblestone wall. With that done there, we're going to place down a narrow brown carpet on this cobblestone wall to both sides. In the space in between, we're going to place down a polished anisite block, cobblestone wall to both ends. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of polished anisite blocks across, polished anisite block in the middle, cobblestone wall to both sides. Uh, with that done there, we're going to take brown carpet and place brown carpet on these two polished anisite blocks. Same thing over here on this side. 
Going back from this polished dance state block here, we're going to place down an air polished dance state block. Again, a cobblestone wall on both ends. Uh, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Coming off the cobblestone wall to both ends, like so. We're going to place down an air polished dance state block. Coming off this one right here, followed by a stone brick stair to both sides. Uh, coming off this polished dance state block toward the front, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides of this um, stone brick stair. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some brown carpets. We're going to place down brown carpet on top of this polished dance site block and also this cobblestone wall. Same thing over here on this side as well. We're then going to go ahead and switch over to end rods. Place down one, two, one, two, and one, two for end rods for the main gun. Uh, once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and take our cobblestone slabs here and we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three across like this. And whatever side you want the kind of catapult to uh, face, we're going to place down a cobblestone slab come off of it to the side like so now if you are planning on adding the little c plane as you can see right here uh you will need to delete one of these end rods to get the c plane to fit so this is kind of part of like the uh pontoons that the c plane has so for this we're gonna have to delete uh this end rod right here placed on each spruce wood fence gate right here and same thing on top of this cobblestone wall right here and our c plane will sit on top of it as you can see right here and that's something we'll cover a little bit later as we move into uh the you know, next few layers here for the tutorial. Anyways, to go ahead and continue on toward the back here, we're going to place the crane in. So for this, we're going to place down an upside down uh, stone brick stair like this. Uh, we're going to take a lever, place down a lever, come off the back of the stair and make sure the lever's faced upwards. If you have to flick it or anything like that, and it opens the fence gate, make sure you close the fence gate back up. And we also want to take a sign and place down a sign here on both sides of the stone brick stair. Last thing for this layer to do is to go ahead and grab ourselves an end rod, place down an end rod on top of the stone brick stair. When that's all done there, that is going to wrap up layer number four. And with, with that all out of the way, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, going ahead and move on to our next layer. We'll be moving on to layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this stone brick upside down stair. We're then going to go ahead and place down a redstone comparator facing this direction, like so, back from the end rod. Go back from the redstone comparator, we're going to place down one and two uh, pieces of redstone dust back, followed by a third. After the third redstone dust part right here, we're going to place down one out to both sides. We also want to take a brown carpet, place it down on top of those two stone brick ups down stairs. Uh, once we have that done, go ahead and work on our way back. We're going to place down a redstone repeater right here on top of this, uh, on top of this spruce wood plank here, followed by notches flicked out to the sides like so. And then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both ends. We're going to go ahead and skip a space of two here and place down a stone brick stair on top of that uh, spruce wood plank there. On both sides of this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull. So just like that. And then coming off the skeleton skulls and uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down two end rods coming off each, going forward there for the barrels for the front gun up here. We're then going to place down a polished anti block back, stone brick stair to both sides. Uh, once that's done there, and there, polished anti block uh, going back in the middle, or cobbles, or sorry cobblestone uh, wall on both ends and a skeleton skull come off those cobblestone walls. Uh, coming back to this section here, polished dance set block in the middle, stone brick stair to both sides. Uh, we're going to place down a row of three of polished dance set across right here, followed by a uh, row of three of stone brick stairs across after that. Once that's done to the sides here, we're going to take brown carpet, place down one and two brown carpet on those two polished dance set blocks. Same thing over here as well. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a redstone repeater, place down one and two, redstone, or one repeater here with the notches flicked out to the sides, same thing right here on this side as well. Uh, with that done, we're going to take our polished dance site, we're going to place down a polished dance site block here in the middle, followed by a stone brick slab to both ends. So, just like this, to both ends. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame, place down an item frame coming off this stone brick slab to both ends like this. Uh, when this is all finished here, we're going to take our polished dance site. We're going to place down a row of three. The polished dance site across, followed by a cobblestone wall to both ends. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an end rod and place down an end rod, come off this cobblestone wall going toward the front. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to take our cobblestone, or sorry, polished dance site blocks. We're going to place down a row of four across. And on the side here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall. Come off the cobblestone wall like we did before. On the front, we're going to place down an end rod going forward. And we're going to obviously do the same thing over here on this side as well. Once that's done, going back uh, our next row over, we're going to place down another row of five, a polished dance side across the middle here, followed by a cobblestone wall to both ends. And uh, we're actually going to make one quick adjustment. So uh, we're going to go and grab ourselves some spruce wood planks and actually swap out this row of five of polished dance side to a row 
of five of spruce wood planks across and we're going to go ahead and also do it for uh, this row. So this row of five here, we're going to convert to a row of three of spruce wood planks in the middle, followed by polished anthracite blocks on both sides. Um, anyways, once that's done there, we're going to place down a narrow row of five of spruce wood planks across the middle here, followed by a polished anthracite block to both sides. Cut off the polished anthracite block to the ends, or to the sides, we're going to place down an end rod on both ends. We're going to place down a narrow row of five spruce wood planks across the middle here, polished anthracite blocks to both ends again. Uh, narrow row of five of uh, spruce wood planks across, cobbles to the wall with an end rod coming off of it to the side on both ends like this. Uh, we want to go and then place down a row of three, polished anthracite across, or sorry, uh, spruce wood planks across, followed by a polished anthracite block on both sides. And then coming off this polished anthracite block, we're going to place down a cobbles to the wall uh, to both ends like that. Once that's done, narrow row of three of spruce wood planks across the middle here, polished anthracite block to both ends. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of polished anthracite across the middle here. Followed by a cobblestone wall on both ends. Come off this cobblestone wall toward the side. We're going to place down an end rod like this on both ends. Once that's finished here, on the back, we're going to go ahead and just take our polished anthracite, place down a row of three across. With that all finished on top of these uh, iron bars right here, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of iron bars across like this. On top of this cobblestone wall here, and place down a polished anthracite block on both sides. And then coming off those cobblestone or those polished anthracite blocks, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair going toward the front. Uh, in the middle space here, we're going to go and take our iron bars, just place down a narrow row of three and cross in between those stone brick ups and down stairs. And then we're going to place down a narrow row of three of iron bars, come off of that row of three. So we basically have three rows of three of iron bars down the middle there. With that all finished, we're going to go, and go forward to this polished anthracite block right here and place down a polished anthracite block on top of it, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides of the block. Coming off those cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull. Like this on both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down a narrow polished anthracite block in the middle, followed by again a stone brick stair on both sides um, of that polished anthracite block. Cut off the polished anthracite block toward the front, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, and end rod, or sorry, a skeleton skull to both sides, and then two end rods coming off the skeleton skulls, and also the stone brick stair there, like that, going back for turret number three. With that all finished, we're going to go back to the crane back here. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of the lever, like so. Behind the stair, we're going to place down a iron bar like so. If you're going to go ahead and play, build the plane, uh, for the plane, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton head, a prepare slab, prepare stair, and also a blue carpet. For this, we're going to place down a prepare slab on top of this cobblestone slab in between these uh, spruce wood fence gates like this. We're then going to place down a prepare stair like this toward the back, a uh, ske wither skeleton skull toward the front, and then blue carpet on top of those two spruce wood planks or sorry, spruce wood fence gates like that for the start there of our um, seaplane. Anyways, with that out of the way, that is going to do it for layer number five. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod on top of this one right up here in the front. We then want to go ahead and go back to our section back here for our turret. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished anthracite block right here. To both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Coming off the skeleton skulls and stone brick stair going forward, we're going to place down a row of two of end rods going forward here for the gun barrels, like this for turret number two. After that, behind the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anthracite block, followed by a stone brick stair to both sides. We then want to go and take our polished anthracite, place down a polished anthracite block here in the middle, a cobblestone wall to both sides, and like we've been doing for the past four turrets, or three other turrets, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off those cobblestone walls to the side there. Once that's done on top of this polished anthracite block right here, we place down a narrow polished anthracite block on top of this, followed by one back. We're then going to place down a nether brick up sounds down on both sides of this second polished anthracite block back, followed by an end rod coming off of it going toward the front. With uh, that complete there, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished anthracite, place down a polished anthracite block in the middle here, cobblestone wall to both sides, and then coming off this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a upside down uh, narrow brick stair like this as well on both sides like that and like we did before come off the back of the stair We're gonna place down an end rod like that Once uh, that's finished there we're gonna place down a narrow polished anthracite block here in the middle narrow cobblestone wall to both sides um, In the space in the middle there we're gonna go ahead and just uh, leave that open And we're just gonna place down a narrow brick upside down stair on top of this second cobblestone wall back And we're gonna go ahead and place down an end rod on it like we've been doing on the sides there for our five inch secondaries uh, with that all finished there, we're going to take our cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle there like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a quartz slab 
on both sides like this. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go, ahead and go to the middle section here. We're going to place down a stone brick um, top slab. So let me go ahead and actually grab a slab here. So a top slab like this, come off that uh, cobblestone wall there. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator. And we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone comparator here on both sides of the slab on top of the spruce wood planks. Now come off those redstone comparators, we're going to place down an air quartz slab to both ends there. Uh, come off this quartz slab, we're going to place down an upside down nether brick stair, like this to the side of it. And same thing over here. And coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down an end rod again on both sides. With that done there, we're going to uh, place down a polished anti block here in the middle. Uh, to the sides here. We're going to place down an air polished anti block to both sides. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall uh, like this to both sides. And then coming off this cobblestone wall facing with its back facing toward the rear of the ship, we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair with an end rod coming off the back of it. Same thing over here as well. So just like that. With uh, that all finished up there, we're going to go and then place down a uh, polished anti block here in the middle. Like so, to both sides of it, we're going to place down a quartz top slab. And then we want to go and place down a wooden trap door on top of this polished anisite block. With that all done there, we're going to place down a narrow polished anisite block in the middle here. Another quartz top slab to both sides. And then this time we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever. And for a little anti-aircraft gun, place down a lever. And make sure you fix your iron trap doors if it opens up. And make sure the levers are facing toward the outside, just like so. With that done, we're going to place down an air polished anti block here in the middle, followed by a quartz top slab to both sides. On top of this cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a um, wooden trap door. Again, make sure it's closed, and that's going to be the same thing there on both sides. Coming off this uh, polished anti block, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this. On both sides of the stone brick stair, on top of those polished anti blocks, we're going to place down wooden trap doors. Come back to this section here, we're going to take our iron bars, we're going to place down basically three more rows of three of iron bars going up like this, continuing the rear mast. So same thing like that going ahead and continuing up there. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick fence post on top of these two polished anisite blocks. We're going to go ahead and skip a space going forward and place down a stone brick upside down stair to kind of continue that diagonal pattern there of uh, basically like a upside down staircase going up like so. And then also coming off this uh, stone brick stair toward the back, we're going to place down a iron bar on both ends. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone slabs. We're going to place down a cobblestone slab on top of this polished anisite block, followed by one slab that goes back toward the iron bars. We then want to place down one, two, and three more slabs going toward the front. Uh, for these uh, extra, uh, basically, planes on the back here, float planes, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, wooden spruce wood fence post or fence gate on top of this cobblestone wall here on both sides. And we also want to place down a fence gate on top of this or to the side of this slab up here in the front and for this we may need to break these end rods to get us to be able to place them uh, but we want these fence gate, the fence gates here on both sides like so and those are going to do it there for the little pontoons which we'll get to a little bit later as we move into our next layers anyways coming back to this section here we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of this stone break up sound stair and then come off this red stone up here toward the front. We're going to place down a stone brick up center, or st stone brick slab like that coming off of it toward the front. We then want to grab uh, some blue carpet, place down one, two, and three blue carpets like that. And that right there will basically do it there for the wings. Anyways, with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number six. And uh, with that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer 7 to go ahead and begin with, we're going to take our redstone up here, place it down on top of this polished anisite block with the notches flicked out to the side. We then want to place down a polished anisite block on top of this one here, followed by a stone brick top slab going forward. With that all done, we're going to then place down a stone brick top slab to both sides of this polished anisite block. And with that finished, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, skeleton skull and place it down coming off those two stone brick top slabs. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab right here, back from this stone brick uh, or sorry, that polished anisite block followed by a skeleton skull to both ends like so. With that all done there, we're going to place down a polished anisite block in the middle here, followed by a stone brick upside down stair to both sides. On top of this narrow brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches flicked back like so. Same thing over here as well. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a uh, row of, or just a polished anisite block here in the middle. And again, a stone brick upside down stair to both ends like so 
Coming off that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab out to the sides. And we want to go ahead and just grab ourselves a wooden sign and place down a wooden sign on the top slabs on this side. Also on top of this narrow brick upside down the stair here, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches flicked back to the sides like so. Uh, on the back section here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down the stair, come off that polished downside block, followed by a skeleton skull, come off those two stone brick upside down stairs to either side. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door, place it down on top of the stone brick top slab, where they're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of these narrow brick stairs to both sides, and also redstone repeaters on top of these uh, second narrow brick stairs that go back like so. Once that's all done, on top of this uh, cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on both sides, and coming off the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair going forward. Coming off the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down an iron bar on both ends. Uh, in the middle space here, we're going to place down a polished anti block on top of this one right here. Uh, to uh, basically going back from this, we're going to go and grab ourselves a quartz slab and also a quartz stair. We're going to place down a quartz slab like this and quartz stair back like so. Coming off the quartz stair, we're going to place down a polished anti block. Once that's done, we're going to go to the middle quartz top slab and on both sides here of this quartz stair, we're going to place down quartz slabs on both ends and also we're going to grab skeleton skulls and place down skeleton skulls on top of those two quartz top slabs. Once that's done there, we're going to grab an end rod, place it down on top of this stone uh, brick stair here. We then want to take our iron bars, we're going to place down uh, again, basically three rows of three, going all the way across here like that for the rear mast. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to place down another narrow brick fence post up on top of this one, followed by one and two end rods going forward. Coming off the last end rod here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like that. We're going to go ahead and go over to this side and do the same thing. Narrow brick fence post up, two end rods going forward, and a upside down stair like that toward the front there. After that's all finished, uh, we have our planes to put on. So for our planes, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some prepared slabs, stairs, with our skeleton skulls, and also some blue carpet. We're going to place down a slab on the cobblestone slab uh, in between those spruce wood uh, fence gates. We're going to go ahead and put it down a preferred stair backwards, a wither skeleton skull going forward, blue carpet on both sides here, and then same thing over here. So we're going to have two uh, seaplanes on this rear kind of catapult or holding system. And also just to go ahead and wrap the planes up, we can place down a row three of blue carpet across them like that so we don't have to worry about them in the next, the next layer. Uh, basically once that's all done you have your little seaplanes complete there, the catapults, and you have layer 7 all complete. With that we'll go ahead and move into our uh, next layer, layer 8. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer we have layer 8. For layer 8 to go ahead and begin with we're going to place down a iron trapdoor on top of this stone brick top slab up here in the front. Going back from that iron trapdoor we're going to place down a stone brick slab. Both sides of this stone brick slab, on top of these two stone brick top slabs, we're going to place down two levers like that facing forward for anti-aircraft guns. We're then going to place down a quartz full block going back from the stone brick slab, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of the quartz full block. Once that's done, going back from this quartz full block, we're going to place down one and two more blocks of quartz back. Coming off these two quartz full blocks to the sides, we're going to place down two quartz upside down stairs. Same thing over here on this side. And then we just want to place down an end rod on top of this stone brick top slab facing toward the front on both sides there for more AA guns. You could also have the end rods facing out to the sides here. Whichever you choose would be perfectly fine um, for whatever you want to do there. Once that's done on the back here we're going to place down a stone brick or sorry quartz stair on top of that stone brick upside down stair like that. Followed by a skeleton skull coming off of uh, these two quartz upside down stairs here on both sides of it. Once that's done, we're going to go, ahead and go back to this polished anti block, place down an air polished anti block on top of it. We then want to grab ourselves a cobblestone wall, place down a cobblestone wall on top of the stone brick stair. Same thing on both sides here. Uh, once that's done there, come off the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down an end rod going forward, and then coming off the uh, coming off the uh, end rod right there, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair here on both ends. We then want to place down a polished anti block on top of this one right here. Uh, for our smoke stacks, coming back to this section here, we're going to go and place down a uh, iron bar there in the middle. We're going to go and place down one that goes back into the side of this one on here on the back. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair here to both sides like that. Coming off these stone brick stairs going toward the back, we're going to place down an iron bar again on both sides. Stone brick upside down stair come off the middle iron bar, and then again iron bars to both sides of these stone brick slabs. With that all finished there, we're going to take our uh, redstone repeaters. We're going to place down redstone repeaters like this on top of these stone brick ups down stairs. Notches flicked all the way off to the sides. And we also want to go and grab ourselves a skeleton skull and place it down on top of these 
their brick fence post here on both ends. Uh, once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer number 8. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, layer number 9. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 9. For layer 9, we're going to start off by placing down a nether brick slab on top of this quartz full block up here in the front. We're going to go and place down uh, iron frames all the way around the sides of the slab like this with black wool blocks in each of those item frames. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a quartz stair here in the middle. To both sides, we're going to place down a uh, iron trap door. And then coming off these iron trap doors, we're going to go and grab ourselves some signs and place down signs wrapping around the two sides here of these iron trap doors. So it's going to be the same thing here on both sides. So just like that. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to place down a quartz full block here in the middle. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron bar. And we're going to place down an iron bar on top of these. Or basically come off the side here of this quartz full block to both sides. And then come off this iron bar, we're going to place down a sign here on both sides. We then want to place down a sign coming off the iron bars also on this side toward the back here. And also an and, or iron bar coming off the quartz full block toward the back here on top of that quartz stair. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of this polished anti block right here. We then want to place down a skeleton skull on top of this cobblestone wall. Same thing over here on this side. We're going to go and grab ourselves a redstone repeater. Place down a redstone repeater on top of that stone brick upside down stair. Same thing over here. And an air brick slab on top of this polished down side block as well. With that all finished there, we're going to go and grab ourselves some levers. We're going to place down levers uh, faced out to the sides here on top of these um, stone brick stairs. Or upside down stairs like that foot down to the sides there for anti-aircraft guns. We're going to place down an iron bar in the middle iron bar block like this and then we're going to place down one out to each side like this so you have kind of like a, cr a cross shape like that from up above and everything like that and you're not filling in the corner pieces like that. Anyways once that's all done there that is going to do it for layer 9 and with that we're going to move into our final layers. So for our final layers here we have layers uh, 10, 11, 12, and 13. We're going to put our final stuff on and basically wrap up this uh, tutorial. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers, 10 through 13. Alrighty guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers 10 through 13. For these layers to go ahead and begin with, we're going to take iron bars and start off the front here, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of this uh, quartz block right here. We then want to place down an iron bar out to each side of this iron bar in the middle here. So like we have in the like we had in the back there, we have a nice kind of cross shape from up above. Once that's done, we're going to go one more up with our iron bars. So just like this all the way around here. When that's done, we're going to place down a quartz full block here in the middle. We then want to place down a quartz upside down stair. Come off that quartz full block to both sides. Uh, going toward the front, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall. Going toward the back, we're going to place down a quartz top slab. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves end rods. And we're going to place down one and two end rods coming off this uh, quartz stair to the side. One and two out to the side as well. On the very top here, we're going to place down a quartz slab on top of that quartz full block. On top of the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And on top of this quartz top slab toward the back here, we're going to place down a lever face flicked backwards like so. Going back to this uh, section here, this back mast, we're going to go and place down uh, basically two of these crosses of iron bars going up. So we have uh, our first one here. And then we're going to go up one more. So you have two like that going up well in total we have three but we have uh two that we just added on uh so it's the same kind of level as this up here this mass in the front we're gonna place down a quartz full block on top of the middle uh iron bar we're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair to both ends coming off those quartz upside down stairs we're gonna place down end rods to both ends we then want to take a cobblestone uh wall place it down come off this quartz uh full block here to the other two ends on the top here, we're going to place down a quartz slab, and then we want to place down a uh, skeleton skull on that cobblestone wall toward the rear there. And with that complete, that is going to pretty much wrap up my tutorial for the USS California Tennessee class battleship. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and you're able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is me, thank you for assigning the build to link to my channel or this video if this is a pretty social media sites. As always, you guys give me credit for it. You're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on overall. Um, just uh, enjoy the build, have fun with it and um, all that fun stuff. Other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys uh, did, be sure to uh, leave a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel to see further tutorials like this. And that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.